Atkinson. Atkinson looking to cut toward the area. And then feeds Heinrich, and Heinrich puts Creighton in front. What a sequence. Atkinson and Heinrich, and it's 1-0 Creighton. Whoa, that was pretty. Ansley Atkinson with a beautiful cut inside and a great run at the back door for Heinrich. And then the ball was just sensational. Perfectly weighted pass through by Ansley Atkinson. And that, my friends, is how you do it. Just great play. All six of their players who've started all seven up to this point are starting in this one, too. And now here is Jacobowski. It's 2-0. The Jays press again pays off. They created the turnover, and Jacobowski slotted into the corner. In the 25th minute, Creighton 2, Oklahoma nil. We were just talking about the physical play from Taryn Jacobowski, and right here it comes and bears fruit as she's able to hold off the defender with a strong shield right here. She gets in and shields it off and then finishes near post, clinically done. Aaron Jacobowski winning the physical battle, adding to the score line. And it's stopped and kept off the line by Sullivan, <laughs> who denies Kaylee Dow. She went the right way. She got some help from the woodwork and then was able to pounce on it before it crossed the line. And Creighton continued to do everything right when they've needed to in this first half. Oh my goodness, it can't get any closer. By two goals to none, but here is Dow. On her left foot, switches to her right, well defended. And then a strike from the top of the area, off the bar, and then Bosak clears. And the Jays survive again. Did Sullivan get a touch on that, to touch it onto her crossbar? We'll have to see on the replay. I believe she did, Donnie. I think she gets a fingertip to this to keep it from ending up in the back of the net. Ivana Rivas with a great strike. And oh yes, Sullivan did touch it onto the bar. And then Bosak alert to the danger. That's Leg band. Just has one forward, aiming for Grubb, and then forced a save out of McClay. Not sure if she was trying to do that. Clock winding down. It doesn't look like Creighton are going to have time for the ensuing corner. And they are perfectly happy to see this to halftime. Lots of tired bodies on the pitch. Out to Ansley Atkinson. Atkinson on her right foot. And a save forced out of Megan McClay. Still in play for Heinrich. Atkinson now back to goal. Distributes to Father Gill. And Father Gill. It was headed toward the corner, and it was palmed away by McClay. Yeah, some really classy attacking play from Creighton right there. Couple of saves forced on long distance shots. Atkinson's was first. And then a good rundown by Heinrich to keep this ball in play. Continue, but then it falls to Legband. Cassie Legband. And it's 3 0 Creighton. It's Heinrich again, but it's offside. It does not count. Well, you saw Heinrich put her arms in the air and then put her hands on her head. She just went a little too early. Working at the fourth official. Here is Kurosaki. Kurosaki on her left. Just couldn't find space to shoot. Good defending by Bosak, and then Kurosaki commits the foul. Which is around the corner. Heinrich into the box. Skyler Heinrich, Jacobowski. It's 3-1 Creighton. And the Jays are nearly there. <laughs> Jacob Bowski just poached that goal from Cassie Legban. <laughs> Legban was squaring it up, ready to score. And Taryn Jacobowski, like a flash, came through and took it. But it's the speed of Skylar Heinrich that creates it. And Jacobowski comes right in front and puts it away. The counterattack has been threatening all second half for the Jays. And Heinrich, who has a goal.